In our solar system, the Earth is the only planet which has the suitable atmosphere for living organisms. On our planet Earth, we can see that there are enormous number of species of living things, from unicellular animal to giant blue whales, from adorable cats to cruel lions. But among all these critters, there are some suspicious and bizarre creatures lurking in the water bodies. One of the such freaking creatures is Kappa, which is today's topic of discussion. To begin with its name, the word Kappa is a portmanteau of the words Kawa, which means river, and Wapa, which means child. So the word Kappa translates to river child. This 5 feet creature is usually found lurking beside the water bodies of Japan. It has a human-like body, colored greenish yellow and blue, with turtle shell on its back and a scaly skin, and a bird-like beak. Seems like the Kappa is the product of multiple animals, doesn't it? It also has a depression on its head called its dish, Sarah, in which it always has to carry water. And in case this water is spilled or dried out, the Kappa will lose all its power and die within a matter of seconds. Its arms are connected to each other through the torso and can slide from one side to the other. While they are primarily water creatures, they do on occasion venture on the land. When they do, the dish on their head can be covered with a metal cap for protection. The Kappa are also known regionally by at least 80 other names such as Kawapa, Kawako, Kawataro, Gawapa, Kogo, Misuji, and many others. Just like it has multiple names, it also exhibits multiple behaviors. Exhibit 1. Malevolent Behavior As creepy as it looks, it's also notorious for its mischievous troublemaking behavior to humans. They are also blamed for drowning people into the water by using their sumo wrestling skills. And they just don't stop there. They're also blamed for looking up women's kimonos to the outright malevolent, such as kidnapping children, raping women, and at times eating human flesh. So apparently, the kappa seems like an enemy to human beings. In fact, you'd see the signboards of warning near water bodies about kappa, and also children are being warned to stay away from the water bodies cause kappa would drown them into the water. You might be thinking that Kappa are menace to human beings. Well, hold your breath, cause things are about to get even weirder. Exhibit 2. Obsession with Politeness Though these Kappa are menacing, it may also behave amicably to humans. Well, there are few ways to escape Kappa if one is confronted with it. Since these Kappa are obsessed with politeness, if one gives respect and bows to it, the Kappa will repeat that gesture. As soon as it bows, the water would spill from the dish, making the kappa unable to leave the bobbing position, until the dish is refilled with the water from the river in which it leaves. If the person refills it, the kappa will serve that person for his entire life. A similar weakness of kappa involves its arms, which can be easily pulled off from its body. If the arm is detached, the kappa will perform favor or share its knowledge in exchange for its return. Well, this seems like the Kappa are not that much offensive and polite to humans. How can the same species show the different behavior? Could it be that there are more than one species of Kappa? Even if there are, they should not have different natures. But it seems like they do have different natures, one with politeness and the other burning in the rage of anger. One feasting on the human flesh and the other serving them for their mere help. Or could it be that the Kappa are just imaginary Japanese folklore? and doesn't really exist in the real life, or is it an incarnate of something else? Exhibit 3 Deity The Kappa is known by various names of the creature vary by region and local folklore. In Shinto, they are often considered to be an avatar Kishin, of the water deity. Shrines are dedicated to the worship of Kappa as water deity in such places as Aomori Prefecture or Miyagi Prefecture. There were also festivals meant to placate the Kappa in order to obtain a good harvest, some of which still take place today. These festivals generally took place during the two equinoxes of the year, when the Kappa are said to travel from the rivers to mountains and vice versa. The best known place where it has been claimed Kappa reside is in the Kappabuchi waters of Tono, in the Iwati prefecture. The nearby Jokenji in Tono, there is a Buddhist temple that has a Komi no Dak statues with depression on their head, reminiscent of water retaining dish on Kappa's head. 
which is said to be dedicated to Kappa, which according to legend, helped extinguish fire at the temple. Kappa is also venerated at the Sojenji Buddhist Temple in the Asakusa district of Tokyo, where according to a tradition, a mummified arm of Kappa is enshrined within the chapel hall since 1818. There are also some unidentified remains of this Japanese folklore. Could it really be just a folklore, or did it really freak the hell out of people at one time? since the appearance of this creature has been diminished nowadays. We can say for sure that Kappa didn't exist at one time. Well, there are still a bunch of unanswered questions. Kappa doesn't show any resemblance to any other creature on the planet. So, what if we say that the Kappa doesn't belong to the planet Earth in the first place? Could it be that these creatures were brought to the Earth for some different purpose by someone? Who's playing much bigger game? Mixing up the abilities of different animals to get Kappa as a culminator result made their appearance to look as creepy as possible, gave him beak while still sustaining the ability to speak, greenish color to blend in the nature while hiding. We may never know the secrets behind this bizarre creature, but one thing's for sure, that it did exist in the past, and possibly even today. If you found this video entertaining, please leave a like below and subscribe for more of this content.